Hello, everybody out there on YouTube. We are the Middle Age Guys, and we're going to be bullshitting about Castlevania coming to Netflix. Now that the teaser's already been released, I know you might have seen the video that Grimmels and I already put out uh, on this particular one, but since the theme is here today with us, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go over it, and we're going to be kind of quick about it. But let's get the introductions out of the way. I'm the Reverend. The theme here. Ray Miles Warner. Uh, on the 24th of uh, 24th of May 2017, uh, Netflix went ahead and they released out the Castlevania teaser. It was only a minute and 27 seconds long, uh, of which it was fully laden with a lot of fan service, especially for fans who have a, a huge, um, give a huge dose of nostalgia, especially at the beginning. The actual the actual amount of animation that they showed was probably only around 45 seconds long, though. But uh, this particular one has a lot of people up on in uproar. Uh, you may remember that uh, we put out a video earlier this year in February that Netflix officially announced that they were bringing out a Castlevania animated series based off of Castlevania 3. Adi Shankar was the guy who's producing it, who's a character. Uh, you'll probably see his picture someplace in the empty spaces down here. Um, and uh, the guys uh, at Frederator, the uh, producers or the animation studio behind, uh, I believe, uh, Adventure Time, right? Green Mouse. Uh, they're the guys who, that's an animation studio handling the, uh, putting together everything. And Warren Ellis of uh, the famed comic book writer is the guy who's responsible for all the scripts for this particular uh this particular show at least in the first season um guys i know everybody's seen the teaser uh since we both gray mouse and i said our our piece earlier in, in a different video uh theme what were your thoughts on this particular one the fact that they showed an nes at the beginning <laughs> i was like okay kind of that kind of made me crack up with a red cartridge and they put it in and said netflix and yeah you have to select it. and i was like huh so they're going eight bit on us huh I'm surprised it wasn't a PlayStation with Symphony of the Night. I mean, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but all that aside, um, as long as they stay true to Castlevania, I won't see any problems with it. Just don't have motherfuckers in black, tight leather going you know, with a whip. Bad demons, bad vampires, bad, bad, bad. Don't do that all day. And. Let, let's just have this be a good fucking series. <laughs> uh, Grey Mouse, it might be tre retreading old ground, uh, but what were your thoughts on this particular one? You know, Well, my first thoughts are that it couldn't be Castlevania Symphony of Night because the game or this animation is taken directly from Dracula's Curse, which is Castlevania 3. But with that aside, um, Warren Ellis, as soon as I saw his name or found out that his name, that he was doing the writing of it, I was done at that point. I was like, I'm done here. I don't even have to watch. No, I'm done here. I know that it's going to stay true to uh, to the Castlevania series. And if there's any indication uh, by watching that, you know, like you said, 40 seconds of animation, it it has. So I have no, uh, I have no, uh, reservations for this just waiting for it to come out yeah yeah warren ellis has put out a lot of stuff he's i believe he's actually worked for he's one of those guys who who's uh so prolific in the comic book industry that he's worked for pretty much uh every <laughs> publication that's out there i believe he's he's done stuff for both uh, dc and marvel uh, i think he's uh he might have actually done some stuff for valiant back in the day um so he's he's pretty much done He's, he's worked for every publication that's out there. Um, this particular one from the very short amount of animation that we've seen, it looks like it's very, very high quality. Uh, like I said previously, the only thing that I'm worried about it right now is that I, I hope it doesn't fall under the same trend of a lot of animated titles, uh, especially ones coming, coming out of Japan where um, the first two episodes or the first episode is absolutely beautiful where they've got the highest production values available and then everything in between starts looking like dog crap and getting progressively worse until it gets to the end where all of a sudden it looks pretty again you know because it it tends a lot of animation studios tend to go ahead and take their production budget and they load it really front heavy and they put it a lot into the finale and then the middle part tends to suffer 
thankfully, since this is going on Netflix, and this is something that's going to have all the episodes available from day one, which is going to be July 7th, 2017. So we don't have to wait very long to see this. Um, I'm hoping that they're able to go ahead and just spread everything out evenly, get the production for, for everything at a, at a standard, you know, uh, at a, at a standard that's really, really good. What I've seen so far, at least as, as what they've shown in the, the scant 30 to 45 seconds that they showed in that teaser was really, really good. Um, no, if everything stays even throughout, I'll be very, very happy. Uh, I'm, I, it really looks like they've got the right people in, in charge handling everything for this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Was do there anything? Think, go ahead, Theme. Do, do you guys think the music from Castlevania will play a part in this? Sounds I fun. don't. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. Um, that there that, may be. There yeah. may be a few tracks that they've got licensed out. Uh, I'm thinking there's well, a few of them. Yes. Yeah. They'll have yeah. NES music. Um, no, I, I, I don't know. Because here's the, here's the thing about it, and, and Graham Nash brought this up when we were talking about this earlier, right? Um, you know, he was he was worried that Konami is going to stick their fingers into this creatively. I think, I think Konami has come to a point with a lot of their with a lot of their video game titles where it's like, oh, you want to go ahead and license out the IP? You ponied up the cash. We don't give a fuck what you're going to do. Just go ahead and do what you do. What you do. It's not like they're making video games, right? Well, no. <laughs> what, so anime, they're going to have people playing pachinko? No, and the, the, this is this is the reason why I, you know, I, I'm bringing hey, this I'm particular point up, all right? And hey, this wait, is the I reason wasn't... why I'm bringing this up, all right? Wait, wait, it's wait, just wait. That... I, wasn't, I wasn't serious when I said that. Okay? <laughs> but the the thing is that people are wondering anyways all right uh the whenever all of the all of the news uh news uh, outlets that have actually reported on this all the entertainment outlets that have reported on this each and every one ha- that i've seen all right that's thrown in a blurb we've contacted konami to see what their thoughts are on it or if they have any input on it none of them record ever getting sort of input or feedback from konami so I'm I'm hoping this particular one that they aren't involved at all. To, and, I, I, to tell you the truth. In all honesty, about let's go back to what uh, the theme was saying with the music. In all honesty, I hope they have their own unique music for this. I mean, it'd be nice. Yeah, it'd be nice uh, throwback and uh, homage to what the animation series is coming from. But I would also like to see some new stuff. Uh, or hear, rather, hear some new stuff. Yeah. Um, and I agree it, with that. This is kind of goth, so I'm hoping that I can hear some, some real, you know, some guitars and some steel guitars, and you, you know what I mean. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, the soundtrack. That's a good question, but yeah. I don't think we'll see any. Uh, maybe one track, if if that. But. If they do do that, don't put too much of that into it. Yeah. Do use it like, okay, remember the Super Mario Brothers Super Show when they had like Mario music just about everywhere? No, don't do that. Or like the Zelda cartoon or any other cartoon. No, don't do that. You know, have your own soundtrack. Maybe throw a little nostalgia in it every once in a while, like maybe a battle or something like that. But you don't have to oversaturate it with Castlevania music all the fucking time. Just do something familiar every once in a while. Yeah. And, you know, they could do that, but just be they have it all the time. You don't want to make it too much video game-ish. Yeah. Just don't, yeah, just be unique when when you choose. No, I mean, so no, it, no Simon Belmont from Captain N, and nobody's going to be doing the Mario. That's what you're asking for. Is that is that right. it? No, no, just <laughs> <laughs> no. That 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 Captain N, no, never again. Yeah. Just, just no. <laughs> Although you know who really got it worst on, on Captain N was fucking Mega Man. He got it the worst. But that's another. Another topic altogether. What about okay. Mother Brain? Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's another topic altogether. <laughs> um, Castlevania, guys. We're, we're talking about Castlevania. It's going to be bloody. 
So, yeah. Just do this. Just have a good fucking series. Netflix hasn't really let us down. So, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think the... I, th I think the the coolest part about Netflix, and we mentioned this in the, in the previous video, you know, is that as a streaming service, you know, unlike a lot of other, uh, unlike regular broadcast TV, where it's like, okay, you have episodes and everything's fit into these time slots, there's really nothing you as a consumer can go out of your way to go ahead and change the actual volume of things that are coming out. Uh, Netflix, because things can just be binged at the will of whenever somebody has the time. You know, it's really, it's really for their benefit that they have as much content as possible. All right. And thankfully, because Netflix, um, you know, generally speaking, they, they put out a lot of good stuff and a lot of things that come to them for, for distribution is, is fairly good. Um, they're also very open to, you know, letting other things that are kind of out there uh, go ahead and jump into the rotation on Netflix because, you know, at the speed that people binge watch the shows and the media that they put out, if all they had was all the stuff that was rehashed from like major broadcast television, people would run out of things to actually fucking watch on Netflix. All right. So with this particular one, I I'm actually really glad that they're around because it gives them, it gives other creators who want to go ahead and do this sort of project an outlet to go ahead and have it actually distributed and seen by the public other than I don't know, going through like Patreon and Kickstarter and then, you know, publishing it on like on Vimeo or freaking YouTube. All right. So, I mean, I'm glad that, that, that that's the case. Um, was there anything else that we wanted to go ahead and touch on that was specific about this particular teaser, guys? Or just, are we pretty much at a point where we can wrap this up? Just bring it out. Have it be good so we can watch it and possibly make reviews about it. <laughs> well, you know, um, I think Netflix is the best place for shows like this. And the good thing is, is if Castlevania is successful, maybe other IPs will be able to do the same thing, make uh, animated series out of it. So I don't want to see another Street Fighter animated. Well. No. Well, the V series wasn't that bad, but USA Network, no. No, that, that middle finger <laughs> <laughs> but I agree with you, Grey Mouse. <laughs> you know, if if somebody else goes out of their way to create something, they want to go ahead and put it out. You know, if they if they can shop it out to Netflix and it and it uh, shows up, God bless them. Good luck to them. All right. Um, I it's one of those things where it's uh, you know, I, there are a lot of things out there that that are that's on broadcast and in the media that I, I don't care for, but somebody out there enjoys it. And you know what? At least that goes toward paying the people who are actually creatively creating all the content. So, um, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit there and just say full stop on that because, you know, <laughs> when you sit there and you, you start doing that, that, that just kind of steps on the whole credo of all forms of entertainment have a right to exist. <laughs> well, they have the right to exist, but I wouldn't watch it if they fucked it up. Even if you don't like it. <laughs> hey, again, I, it, it, it could exist, but that doesn't mean I'm going to watch it. Oh, that's hey, always our choice. Like I said, that Street Fighter shit exists. <laughs> but, but, okay, wait, that's getting off topic. I would yep. love to see this do well, just as yep. Raymond said. If this does well, maybe other gaming IPs okay, they don't have to go to the big screen. They can go on their own series and be on Netflix and we can be satisfied that way because every time gaming goes to the big screen, well, just about, they don't do it correctly. Yep. At least at least in this particular instance, it looks like somebody is actually treating it with respect and is doing it correctly. Well, I think that's the best that we can all hope for, right? Well, fuck, they have to. I mean, fucking up Castlevania is just unacceptable. Konami, you hear that? You hear that? Yeah. That's how we feel about that. All right. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wrap this one up so we don't trip over another landmine and go on for another 20 minutes. Uh, but like I said before, like I say in every video, we really want to know what you think, folks. Uh, so, you know, what do you think about the Netflix tra trailer? What do you think our com about our commentary about, like, 
video game adaptations for TV and movies in general. What do you think about this video? Are we full of shit? Feel free to tell us by leaving a comment below. While you're at it, hit like, hit subscribe. We really appreciate it when you do. Uh, and it really drives us on to go ahead and do more of these videos, even if you hate it. All right. With that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close that one up. All of our bullshit on the Castlevania Netflix teaser, which was released out on the 24th, ends right here. Remember, the series hits July 17th. Barely six weeks away for us to go ahead and actually see if it's any good, but I digress. Uh, yeah, all of our bullshit on all that ends right here. I'm the Reverend. The theme here, Grey Mouse 1. As these guys just said before, all forms of entertainment has the right to exist even if you don't like it. And just hope that they do a good job with this one. Credits.